Browns are going to have to do some things to open up money if they want to sign anybody in free agency. So we'll talk about some restructures after. A quick reminder that on FanDuel, right now you could get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet on America's number one sportsbook. Bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same-game parlays, exclusive props, and so much more. And right now, FanDuel's got something special for UCSS listeners. Be sure to check out FanDuel's Profit Boost tokens on the app and use them for the UNC Duke rivalry game on Saturday night. Profit Boost tokens are available before the big game, and you can find out all the information about them just by visiting your account page now. Visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to shoot your shot, download the app, and always remember, FanDuel is an official sportsbook partner of the NBA and an official sportsbook partner of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. By the way, uh, shout out to the, my fellow coaches in the Rocky River Little League. We had our first manager's meeting last night. Ooh. Um, it took like three hours. It was a lot of, lot of oh, heavy. Geez. It was. It, what's funny though? It's always been really long. I thought it would be shorter this year because we have a new guy running the league, and the meeting was better and had a better energy and it was a little more collaborative stuff, which I liked. But it was still really long. It's just a lot to go over. But what we we closed down four a hours. Three hours. Three, 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 that three, was like two and a half. What it was could two you and a half. Possibly talk about for. So, they were making some rule changes. We're letting travel kids play in the league this year. It's Ooh, a whole that, big thing. I pushed for that in Avon Lake. Yeah. And <laughs> I got voted down. <laughs> no, we just – Actually, didn't even get to a vote. They're like, okay, that's Yeah, nice. it's the first they decided to do it. So How old? How old are the kids? Between third grade through sixth grade. You know, finishing third through finishing sixth. I remember that. Anyway, it was a fun time last night. Great day. So, free agency, the tampering yeah. period starts Monday. The official contrast, pen to paper, can happen on Wednesday. We've already seen some deals across the league, but we know the Browns are going to be big game hunting. At least we assume we they do? will be. We do? Think, I think they will I be. don't know. I don't know that we know that. Andrew Brady's a Christ. So he good for a splash. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I feel pretty confident saying he'll make I mean, some sort of splash. Year. But in order to do that, the Browns do have to open up some extra cap space. They are currently under the new $255.4 million salary cap thanks to restructuring Denzel Ward's deal. Go Bucks. They can open up a lot more by restructuring some other current players' contracts. Now, some of the players we mentioned won't technically be a restructure. It'll be an extension, but we're going to put it all into the same category to figure out how much money the Browns could potentially open up to spend in free agency in the coming weeks. Mike was really struggling with the difference between restructure and uh – well, I didn't want to have to explain it all in the group chat this morning. So. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing is, with Miles Garrett and Watson, it's not about changing the amount of money of the total contract. Well, Their it, could be, it could be with Miles if you extend I guess it technically could be. With Watson, with, with it's Watson, not. it's not because all his money is guaranteed. With Cooper and, and especially Chubb, it's all about adjusting the money, spreading it out potentially over a number of years. And in Chubb's case, it could be just... Him taking a pay cut. It could be just as simple as that. Joe <coughs> Bill is taking it. He's going to have to. He's going to yeah. have to. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, that's it. So, yeah. so we're going to figure out. Yeah. And essentially, we're going to do this topic today. So, tomorrow, when we do our free agency projections, we kind of have a number of what we think the Browns will be working with. So, we'll start with Deshaun, the true restructure of this. His contract details, we know he has a $64 million cap hit, essentially, in 2024. He's under contract through the 2026 season. Afterwards, he has an extra year of void, which has a $9 million Dear dead cap hit. If they were to cut him now, which is not going to happen, million. it'd be $201 million oh in dead God. money, which is not going to happen, but just wanted to put it on there. Uh, I put it on for everybody. So I mean, how much did Russell Wilson just broke the record for the most dead 85. money? 85. 85 million. 85 million. So I just put it on there for the sake of it. It's not going to happen, but just wanted to give you all the contract information. At least not this year. Do you guys think the Browns and Andrew Berry will restructure Deshaun Watson's contract I mean, I, this offseason? Jason think, asked him two, directly, two and words. Andrew Berry skirted the question. Two words. Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that it depends on what they're trying to get in free agency. Like, if they're trying to go after two guys, like like a Christian Chris Wilkins and maybe a big receiver, like, yeah, yeah then I think you'll ask him to restructure. But if you're just trading for one and then going in the draft with the other one, then I don't think necessarily you have to do that. It's tricky, Jason, in my mind, and Ty, in my, because – there's got to be some question within the organization whether he's ever going to be the guy they traded for. Yes. And because of that, like if if he had played great the last two years, well then who cares? Then right. you just then you re, 
and, and kicking the can down the road doesn't matter because you're sure you got your guy. But do you want to kick the can further down the road? Because the reality is, and I want to belabor this, but the truth is that if Deshaun Watson is hurt again this year or doesn't play well this year, then you're, you have to start thinking about the next quarterback. Absolutely. So it, it's a very tricky decision here. D- I, would not, I don't think it's obvious. I would not restructure it. All right. I, would let, I would let it ride. It's a, six, it's a $64 million cap hit. It was $55 million when they restructured it last year. Yeah. They became 64 in the future. So right. if you restructure this again, it's going to be over $70 million <laughs> next year and on and on and on. And you've already got, I think, a $9 million, I think it's only $9 million dead cap hit yeah. when he's off the roster. Yes. But that number is just going to swell if you keep restructuring this. And you're absolutely right. If it doesn't happen this year – you have to realistically start having the conversation of what's our exit strategy. Right. And if you keep restructuring this, go ask Atlanta how that worked out when they restructured Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. Yeah. They were hit with a $45, 50 $60 million cap hit while he was playing for the Colts. And the Bucks went through that. After Tom Brady retired, they had a $40 million cap hit last year. Now, they got a Super Bowl out of it. They don't care. Right, right, sure. And Atlanta went to a Super Bowl. So you'd live with it. And yeah. They should have won it. Browns I haven't come anywhere near that. So for I, I would I would not, and that's why it was really interesting to me because I don't know if that's why you were joking about the not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. I asked Andrew at the combine. <laughs> I asked AB, "Do you have to restructure Deshaun again?" He goes, "Not necessarily." Next question. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all you wanted to say, and then move on. Great. Now, Miles <laughs> Garrett, on the other hand, I'd re- I would do that. I would definitely restructure yeah. with Miles Garrett because I know Miles Garrett's great. And I know that unless he gets hurt, he's going to be great again next year. Yeah. There's no question marks there. Can I ask a question yeah. about the Miles Garrett contract real quick? So this is the contract information he's making. It's $20.2 million cap hit this year. It's the final year of his deal. It's the fourth highest paid edge. But according to over the cap. No, it's not the final year. You said it's the final year of his deal. In 2026. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. in 2026. He's got two years left after this season. According to over the cap, Jason, and explain this to me because I, I don't understand this. He has a cap number for thirty-eight million dollars in twenty twenty-seven, in his void year. In twenty twenty-seven, when he's not under contract, that's probably the restructures from the past. Yeah, that's he's what you to, do. You add he's void up to years. Thirty-seven million in a void year. You add void years onto the. But if you keep restruct, like that's what happened with Deshaun. They put a void year on the end. Right. I don't know off the top of my head how many times Miles has been restructured, but I'm guessing they've done it a couple of times. And that's why that number is so high because you cut it off your cap in your current year and you tack it on. Yeah. To the, and, and, and it just rolls downhill. So that's why I was saying Deshaun's cap hit last year, Deshaun's cap hit was supposed to be $55 million for this year. But because they restructured it last year, they were all supposed to be 55 Right. Because they restructured it last year, it's 64 this year, 64 right. next year, 64 the following year. And then so, the $9 million that uh, one more year. And then that year. $9 million, yeah. yeah. So now if you restructure, hmm. we'll use Deshaun as an example. If you restructure Deshaun again, and let's say $9 million is the number now. Well, now next year, $73 million. Right. The following year, $73 million, And that dead year becomes $18, 18 million. Right. Right. So, And maybe there's another void year at the end that becomes $9. Right. So Denzel right now is getting eleven after his contract is over. Because he gave. Up. It's not necessarily he's getting eleven. It's just a cap. It's what of, counts yeah. against their cap. Right, right, right. And you still get your money. In fact, you get it yeah. sooner, because when you convert it to a bonus, you right. get it right away. That's why players those, love it. Yeah, those players love players. restructures yeah, 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 because yeah. they get their money with like you get like a just, check for just ten. Buck guys, it's, deal it's, buck like, guys. it's like I think it's like a ten million dollar check within a week of restructuring, two Woo. weeks or whatever. It if is. you, if you extend, say, say they extend Amari and Chubb one year each. Okay. And lower their cap numbers for this year. Mm-hmm. And then you uh, restructure Miles Garrett. You, I think with those three things, you could create enough cap space that they could still add two good free agents Probably. if they wanted without restructuring Watson. Without touching the Watson. Yeah. I think. I'm, I'm, there might be some other guys maybe too. I don't know. I, you know. If they don't I, – I, we talked about this when I first came back from Indy. If they don't restructure it, it doesn't necessarily mean – they're trying to get out of it next year. It doesn't mean that. Watson. Yes, yeah, no. Watson. But it's it gives them a little bit more of a off ramp if they need one. Fair? Is that yeah, is yeah, that a little sense? bit more, yes. It doesn't necessarily mean that they want out. No, but, but it, you'd be but smart, it, you'd be dumb not to have a uh, play to think. You gotta think both ways. If yeah. he doesn't work out, we still need an exit strategy. Yeah. yeah. 
And right. that's what and, they do. And I think by year three, like if this year, for whatever reason, whether he doesn't play well, he gets hurt again, whatever the reason is, it doesn't matter. If he doesn't have the type of year that everyone's expecting him to have, you got to start having that conversation. That's right. You, 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 might, you might potentially be drafting a quarterback in the first round the following year. You, I mean, you're not you comfortable know. with DTR? Not I, really. I actually really liked what I do, too. <laughs> I, actually I was like him so too. disappointed that he got the concussion when he did because it felt like he was starting to get it rolling. I, it lo- did. I just think it was funny that he was throwing the ball that hard and they was dropping the ball. Yeah. Like, man, that's hilarious. I'm man. not saying he's a franchise quarterback by yeah. any means, but they were drafting him for a specific need to be a backup quarterback. And I thought he was showing growth to where he could hold that role admirably. Yeah. But I get trying to bring in a veteran because he didn't show enough. And he didn't show enough. But I feel like he was on the verge. And maybe yeah. not. Maybe I'm way off. They're going to draft Mike, Joe, what are the cap, Joe what are, Milton. In the what are the, cap, the projected cap numbers as of now for Chubb, Cooper, and, Gar- and Miles Garrett? For 2024? Yes. So Nick Chubb has a $15.8 million cap hit in 2024. Okay. That's not happening. Amari Cooper, in 2024, his cap hit is $23.776 million. Yeah, and they already have $7.5 million in dead cap the year after. Okay. For Cooper, yes. And then Miles is like 20.2. I'll confirm for you in one sec, but I believe it's 20.2. Okay, so that's That's between the three of them, it's about $60 million. It's more than enough. There's about $60 million worth of cap hit. It is 20.2, correct. 20.2 for Miles. Right. If you, I mean, if you just cut half, of the cap hit and pushed it for those three guys. That, now, now you're risk, $30 million under the cap. Now there's risk involved with extending Amari and Nick another year, too. Absolutely. So, there but, is. but there's probably less risk. It's about risk management, right? Right. There's less risk. Even if Amari and Nick don't work out, that's still a less of a punitive hit on you right. than restructuring Deshaun right. and trying to get out of that down the road. Because it's less money and less years. Yeah. Yeah. that you're dealing with the, the fallout for if it doesn't work out. And, you know, Amari Cooper at this point, and even Nick Chubb to me, even coming off the injury, are safer bets than Watson. Amari Cooper's going to retire Cleveland Brown. He's the first Brown that go back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons. First Brown wide receiver. Wide receiver. Ozzie Excuse Newsom. Me. Excuse me. Had 1,001 and 1,002. Thank, Thank you for <laughs> correcting me. He's going he's gonna to retire Cleveland. And Nick Chubb. If Nick Chubb is seen in another jersey, it's going to be an uproar. Let me tell you something. I hope he does. I hope he retires. Here's why why you know it's going to happen. Nick Chubb is a very smart guy. He knows what the running back market is. There's like 10 good backs out there, and he's coming off a serious injury. Nobody's paying him a ton of money in free agency. As much as we love Nick Chubb, Jason, there is nobody paying him significant money. I totally agree. And that's why I wonder wonder how – cutthroat the Browns are going to get on their offer because you still want to maintain that relationship. Sure. Hmm. And you don't want hard feelings on the, uh, on the other side of it. It's so business is business. I, it's exactly right. So what do you cut the base to that you feel is an advantage for you that you're comfortable with that still doesn't piss him off? Seven million. That's, I was thinking six. I was thinking six. Also. <laughs> yeah. But well, I would think well, I, I would wanna, give him the opportunity. I don't want to piss him off, so I'm going to give him my extra, <laughs> give him an extra million. <laughs> but wouldn't you, I mean, in this market, six million guaranteed, nobody's paying him six million nobody's guaranteed. Paying. No other team is paying him would that. Would you, what's his, because I always mix this up because we talk about the 16, but he's actually getting 12, right? Isn't his contract for twelve for this what year? What he's actually getting paid? Yeah, his base salary this season's eleven point seven seven five million. So if, if, you, if, uh, if you are Nick Chubb. And they came to me and said seven. And they came to you and said, you know what you've done for this team. You know what your body's been through. You know how you feel. You're supposed to make 12. They come to you and say, we're going to cut that in half. Or maybe we'll give you an extra million. Would that be an offer that would... Can I get... What's the, and and, and incentive uh, to get it all back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Would you, would you feel that that's fair? As a, play, as a former player of the NFL... Would you understand that and feel that's fair, or would that piss you off and feel like they're taking advantage of I'd still be pissed off. I'm sure you would. (laughs) Because it's like y'all know how hard it is in this business, especially for the running back position. But piss him off enough that you think he'd want to leave, even without getting any more money? I mean, yeah, because of everything I did for this franchise. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Can I get eight? (laughs) Can I get eight or nine? If it was another player, they wouldn't even give him the chance. They'd just cut him. If Nick Chubb wasn't Nick that's Chubb, probably, they would cut him. That's probably that's true. That's probably true. Yeah. That's probably true. And maybe because it is Nick, maybe they do go to eight. That's why I'm like, can right. I A like? Because at, at the end of the day, Nick Chubb ain't crazy to think like, all right, 
somebody else going to give me eight. Like, no, that's no. not the case. No. So if the Browns is willing to give me eight, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, have you seen the list of the free agent running backs? No. No. Mike, could you have that list from yesterday? And do we have the list of running backs from yesterday? Can you pull it up? Yeah, th- is there's Joe a bunch of guys. Is Joe Mixon going to be with the Cincinnati Bengals? So it's Saquon. Okay, Derek this Henry. doesn't even include Mixon, who probably will get cut. You <laughs> never know with the Bengals. And it doesn't include Zach Moss, who had a really good season. I know season John Jacobs now. on that list. Eh? Look at this. Pollard, Henry, Barkley, Swift, Jacobs, Eckler. Jeez, These man. guys again. Barkley might get paid a decent amount, maybe. That's it. These guys, the running backs don't get paid, period. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say, Nick, we're going to give you seven. If you don't want to take the seven, I'll go take Derrick Henry. He can do the same thing. I just need a short do- a short yardage back. By the way, if the Browns, we <laughs> talked about this yesterday, me, Mike, and Gene debated of those guys, if you were going to add a back to, to, to go with Nick, who would, who would you want? And you got to factor in how much they might get paid. Not DeAndre Swift, because he about cost me the championship <laughs> last year on Fantasy. Mike went with Swift. Austin. I Eckler. went with Pollard. G, I think, went with Barkley, which G went with Barkley. not realistic. But yeah, Austin Eckler. I think Eckler. See, but Eckler, I think his shot. I think Eckler shot. We'll but see. If he's, he's, he, does the, he does more, doesn't he? He catches the ball. Yeah, but the so does field. Pollard. And Pollard's younger than, than And so Eckler. does Swift. What? So does I Swift. Ain't, Swift can't come where nowhere near <laughs> me. He'll, he'll, he bought the same list was mm-hmm. Evan Mobley and DeJounte Which Murray. one's going to get the most? Uh, aside, from Saquon. 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 aside from Saquon. Uh, oh. Let me see the list again. I'm going to guess Derek, no. Derek Henry or Josh Jacobs. Jacobs is younger. Yeah, but Henry's but not Henry's good. got a lot of miles. Josh Jacobs. I actually think... Yeah, but Josh Jacobs has only really had one good year. I don't know. One year was great, though. None of those guys, outside of Barkley, none of those guys are getting more than $6 million guaranteed. I don't think. I'll be surprised. See, and if I'm Nick... And Nick's coming off an injury. Nick, see, Nick can play this one or two ways. It it could go really south for Nick. Nick, if they... He should be trying to get whatever. Let me know what you're going to offer me now. Like, I need to know. If you're going to give me the eight, I'll sign it today. Because if they go off the board and they only getting six, then the Browns gonna say we'll give you five. Right, right. right. So it's yeah, like that's why yeah. you need to hurry up. Let me. What you gonna give me? For, <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. I mean, I, I, I would love to hear about a Nick Chubb restructure and you know extension this week. So if they cut him, what, what's the, what's the cap hit? What's the dead hit? On Nick Chubb? Yeah. Uh, four million, so they'd save about twelve million dollars in cash six. space. <laughs> he <laughs> gets six. One cutting, thousand percent. He gets six. Unless you think he can't play well this year, cutting him, I don't think makes. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that, the right move. He gets six. I'm gonna tell you that. But right yeah, now. he's not six. About six million. Yeah, yeah he's it, the running bar, back market doesn't get paid and it's flooded. Yeah. So. It's so tough. you said bull. Just to recap before yeah. we move on. You don't think they restructure Watson, but you think they do something with Miles, Amari, and Nick. That's what I would do. I don't know up, that they're going to do it. But to that's, open up how much cash space do you think that gives them? Then? They're about $7 I, million under now. <coughs> they're $7 million under now? I think, Ish, they, I think they could get easily to 30 if not 40 So let's split the difference and say they have $35 million in space. 35 Jason, what I don't, say you? I think 30 is high. 28. I, I I think I agree with the names. I don't know about the numbers. I'd have to look at the numbers. But well, I agree Chubb, with the names. Cooper, and Miles total are, have a $60 million cap hit. I said maybe they could cut Where they, cap How much under they under right now? About seven. seven-ish after the Denzel. According to over the I'm going 35 if, oh, no, total, I, so I, 28 million I said extra. about 32, 31, 32. Okay. Man, that feels high. If but that's cut, including the seven million yeah, they already have. Yeah. I mean, the names I agree, I would not restructure Deshaun. Obviously, you'd look at Nick. Yes, I would do Miles. Amari, I'm sort of on the fence on. Okay. I'm sort of on the fence on him. I think it would depend on what you can get done with the others. Would help determine that because we talked about that before. I I, just, I I think I would let Amari ride if you could get enough out of the other guys. I would not. It's touch a big that cap one. hit though this year. It is. Um, I would get the other ones done first and see, and then see if you need to. Are there any right. others? I guess there's no others, Is right? there anybody else? I mean, do you want to Denzel? restructure Teller or Batonio again? Denzel's already been restructured. Yeah, That's I know. how you got to seven. Yeah. I but don't think they want to restructure Thornhill or anything like no. that. No. I mean, I would maybe look at Denzel again, maybe. But I don't, they just I don't, did Denzel. They just did it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's, um, how, they, that's how they got to seven. On yeah, the, that's how seven they got to seven. Under. Um. I would not do Betonio or Wyatt again. No. You let those ride. Conklin? 
They could do. They you could do get, Jed. I mean, he, What's the guaranteed money on that? On Jack Conklin, hold on. That's the worst contract they've done. That's yeah. Well, well. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll it's see. the worst. <laughs> to be determined. Guaranteed yeah. money on Conklin. Well, okay. I don't know how to read this exactly. The guaranteed salary cool. after 2024 is, is zero and zero. But well, his base salary in 2025 is 14 million. His base salary in 2016, or 2026, excuse me, is 14 million. His cap hit this year 12 million. Next two seasons 19.5 million. Oh. And the dead cap if he's cut right now is 19 million. Next year it's 8 million. The following year it's 5 million. So, the, so they're cutting him after this. You're year. stuck with him probably for this year. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do at tackle. Like I really don't know what they're going to do. You might have to make him a backup. Because you can't sit DeJuan. We talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, no. You cannot sit DeJuan. He he'll, he'll be 450 pounds. I was about to say he'll be 400 pounds. pounds. Yeah. 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 You, you have to play him. He's had enough success now. Yeah. You can't turn your back <laughs> on So him. what's your number now? What do you think? You know what you to? do? I got the answer. You ready for this one? I'm ready. Rotate? No. You trade Wyatt Teller for Jonathan Allen. You <laughs> slide, you slide, about Conkle, Allen. You slide Conklin back in to, to guard. DeWan and out and tackle. Can, can Play you back in the guard? He's never played guard, has he? No, but you can slide him down the guard. You're going to ask a 30-year-old lineman coming off injury to play guard for the first time? That's Probably easier than asking him to play tackle. I'm about to say he's protected inside. Uh, I guess. And you got a big offensive line there, too. Can you trade Wyatt for Josh Allen? Because I would do that. I would. I, I mean, I tr- I'd pack it. Either the 50, Josh I'd take the 54 pick and Wyatt and take it for Josh Allen. <laughs> oh, you would, huh? <laughs> I'd take the 54 pick and Wyatt Teller and trade him for Josh Allen. You'd have to yes. give up about five more <laughs> no, 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 no. first-round picks. Not that Josh Allen. The defense the, is oh, Josh Allen. You were gone. We had to mix up. And oh yeah, <laughs> the other Josh Allen, speaking the of, Jaguars, that, Josh so, Allen, Tyvis, real quick, and, and we love the people who watch UCSS. And whether you watch live, whether you go back and watch clips, we appreciate it. Uh, my phone sometimes gives me like random comments we get, like you know, it'll just send you a push notification. Yeah, sure. And I saw this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So I was like, oh, I wonder what she's referring to. So I clicked on it, and he said, "We have Deshaun. We don't need Josh Allen." Now in the video it was a picture of josh allen from the jaguars because earl misread my text and thought i said josh (laughs) allen not jonathan allen yeah in the picture on the thumbnail it was jaguars josh allen in the entire discussion we mentioned jaguars josh allen and talked about jonathan allen which was what we were actually talking about and despite it being in the title josh allen parentheses jaguars despite it being in the picture jaguars josh allen yeah this person did not look at anything just saw a trade and a picture of Josh and, Allen and commented, this is the dumbest thing ever. And, and in the end, the dumbest thing ever was nothing that you mentioned. It was that he would think you wouldn't want the quarterback, Josh Allen, because of Deshaun Watson. Because anybody that would rather have Deshaun Watson than the quarterback, Josh Allen, they need to be checked into a mental institution. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Was he gonna go nobody that, that Wasn't going to go that far. No. <laughs> Both bypassing and adjusting their meds yeah, directly I mean, you're, you're to right. the mental you're right. There's nobody on the planet right now <laughs> that would take Deshaun Watson over Josh Allen. There are people on this planet who would. Yes. Nobody. Yes. You'd have to be out of your mind. His agent. Josh Allen, do turn. No, <laughs> secretly his agent would rather have Josh <laughs> Allen as, as a client, I guess. Maybe, well, you know. I mean. We'll put in the chat. Earl, I heard Earl mumbling. <laughs> Earl, Earl, no Earl, way be you're careful. crazy, Earl. Earl. Come no, on I just now. said wild at the whole mental health institution comment. That was all. Huh? What was that? It was the whole mental health institution comment. That's why I said wild too. Not oh, the whole all right. thing. listen, I'm I'm on medication for uh, a, a depression. So, uh, and I go to therapy regularly. So I can comment on. Uh, it, it's okay. We got to be able to joke about things too. But uh, straight to straight to the institute. You get put in a, in, a, in, in in a chair and tied. Earl, up which quarterback you want? Uh, right now, today, I'll take Josh Allen. All right. We put in the chat. We'll, we'll see what the, Come on uh, now, stop the YouTube chat says. There's literally no just, no <laughs> argument for, for Deshaun Watson. Should we stop the poll right now? It's, it's unacceptable. The, the poll should be. My only, you rather have Josh my Allen only Justin? issue with Josh Allen is that he digs himself in a hole, then have to be heroic to get himself out of the hole that he already put himself in to overcome. 
there's crit critiques of any quarterback in the league besides Patrick Mahomes. Joseph and Burrow. And, and including Joe Burrow. There's critiques of him. I Ooh. said that about the Cavs when the championship years. They would yeah. set their own house on right. fire just to have the opportunity to try and put but it out still, before the dog dies. There is still, there's nothing you can point to right now that could argue for Deshaun Watson over Josh Allen. No. Zero. No. Zero. That would be that's Turnovers. insane. Turnovers. That's ins there's literally nothing. I, Deshaun Watson had a lot of turnovers in a few games. Accuracy. You know what? I'm curious. Who nothing. would you rather have, Deshaun Watson or PJ Walker? No, oh, that's a good one. It's a tough question. <laughs> you didn't ask it correctly. It's, it's Philip. Very, it's a very tough question. Both are winners. <laughs> you know, both come in there and just somehow the offense just looks pretty good. It oh, just, it, you know, it, it just got fault. a way of when crunch time comes around, they win the game. This I don't know what fault. that's about. Mm. 